a bunch of you have asked for this, and I somehow happen to have both of them in my garage, so it's time to get into what's the best turbo kit for your Miata. Flying Miata or Kraken? I want to lead off with a few things. First off, this video is not sponsored by either company or any company in that matter. Uh, I'm available if you want to though. A lot of this is going to be personal opinion. So I don't have any like hard data to tell you why one is better than the other. Uh, just I've experienced both. I've assembled both and I've driven cars with both. And it's just going to be my input. And the third piece, both of the kits that I have in front of you right now are designed for Miatas with power steering and air conditioning. So we're going to level the playing field on that. Um, and they are also both Garrett GT2560R turbos. So same turbo, same fitment on the car, uh, both for 1.8. This is a VVT, but just, they would bolt up interchangeably. The only difference is the manufacturer. So let's get into it. Let's uh, see why Stefan's opinions might differ from yours. And we'll do some breakdown. I'll take you guys mobile. So why don't we start with the tried and true Flying Miata, powered by Flying Miata. This is like the OG kit for Miatas. If anybody's been in the industry, you know that Flying Miata's made turbo kits forever. And these are kind of like, you know, the first thing when it comes to turboing a Miata that comes to mind, it is the Flying Miata kit. So they used to sell a couple options, 2560, or a 2554. They have now switched to a 2560. It is a cast steel manifold. So cast steel manifold and the pipe. Uh, I don't know what you would call this because it's not really a downpipe, but kind of the back half of the exhaust. This one looks a little different because it's been ceramic coated, but it does kind of resemble this finish when it's OEM. So this may look like your typical like kind of cast runner manifold. I'll put a picture up here but it is not, so you can see each runner pretty much meets right at the collector here, so the first one, the second one ends here, which is right in the port, third one ends here, and the fourth one meets back up, and the first one meets back up all at the collector here. So, you're not sharing any runners or anything like that, which is good. The cast style that you would get on the internet for like $40 back then was just really bad design. This does look like that at a glance, but it is not, it is a good manifold design, and people have made solid power on these. So from there, the turbo manifold goes to a T25 flange, which bolts up to any T25 base turbo, which conveniently the 2560 is a T25 turbo. From there, Fly Miata offers a cast, we'll call it the downpipe for the sake of time. This cast downpipe section here that has this like four bolts flange section, and it bolts up to the back of the 2560. The kit comes with manifold, turbo, wastegate and the downpipe as well as a um, I guess the rest of the downpipe so that would go from kind of here down and meet up with your factory cat it also comes with an intake so I'll show pictures up as I go but it comes with an intake and it comes with intercooler piping that is silicone so it's all one piece silicone on both sides. So it's one piece for the driver's side, one piece for the intake passenger side. That's been the standard and it hooks up to their intercooler that bolts very cleanly from the radiator support. So with Fly Miata, you get a kit that pretty much covers everything you need in the engine bay. It's a very nice bolt-on option and they'll give you everything for like water line fitting. So you can see I've got some bolts in here. I just haven't run the water lines yet. Um, I made my own drain. They do supply drain pieces uh, and the drill bit and everything so you can tap your pan. Very nice, well thought out kit. This thing has been on the market forever. And like I said, people have made good power with it. This 2560 is going to be screaming to try to hit like 300 horsepower to the wheels. But for a street car, like 300 horsepower, I always say is a perfect number. It is also a fully carb legal kit, or it can be if you use some like fuel cards or something like that. This kit is going to get a standalone ECU, so it will not be carb legal. But regardless, very nice kit, very tried and true, very easy to assemble. Um, I mean, it bolts up like any other turbo manifold. I haven't had any problems with it. It has ports for EGR in the back here if you want to maintain that. 
and it will bolt up, like I said, to your stock exhaust, which is very easy and very nice. So, that's this. Let's take a look at the Kraken kit. So moving on to the Kraken kit, we have a similar style manifold. It's also cast steel, so it's not stainless steel or anything like that. Uh, the only reason this one looks different is because it hasn't been ceramic coated because we're just, we didn't opt for that one on this build. But the design is very similar. So in that case, we had one, two, three, four all met at the collector housing. We'll call this the merge, whatever. Here it's very similar, one, two, three, four. You can just see it a little better. So you can see like the casting where the, the ports are different. This one might be slightly better, just in the sense that they all meet like exactly at the flange instead of like slightly before. So these all merge kind of like in this area. And the Kraken one literally merges here. So that's your merge port. Everything flows right into the turbine housing from there. And the Kraken kit does come with, similar to Flying Miata, cast manifold. You can get the turbo through them. This is again a G2560R. And then they supply this cast piece, very similar to Flying Miata, bolts up to the 2560R housing. I currently have a turbo blanket on, so it's a little hard to see. But a very well thought out, kind of hot side kit. So the Kraken kit, similar to Flying Miata, comes with all of your intercooler piping. It is not silicone like Fly Miata it is all aluminum with like couplers in between everything so like this will have a 90 and then it'll come down to the rest of the system supplied with an intercooler and they send you a filter I haven't looked to see I believe it just bolts onto the front of here they don't have a nice solution like the Fly Miata ones do and then also it comes with everything you need for drain lines water feed water return and an oil feed and it's a it's a build your own kit so Depending where you're running things to, you can make your own lines. Like you can see these are push locks if you're running my water neck feed, like both of these are. So you would feed off of here, which used to be a thermostat housing. And you just cut it to length, put the clamp on it, I run heat shielding. It also comes with turbo drain. This again is one that I made. But they do send everything as well. So it comes with a drill bit and a tap for your oil pan. You can put the port wherever you deem necessary. And then it comes with a downpipe, which this one I actually have right here. So it comes with downpipe, and you'll notice it is V-band on both ends. For Kraken, you can do a full exhaust, it's 3 inch all the way back, which is like a really nice clean bolt up option, but not carb legal like Fly Miata. With that being said, let's kind of get into the differences and why I prefer which one over which one, uh, or what I prefer from each, and maybe that'll help you make your decision on which kit you end up facing. For starters, the main difference that you'll see from the engine bay is going to be the intercooler piping. So Fly Miata is full silicone system. I'll, they have like a really cool picture, I'll put it up here, of what that looks like. It hangs the intercooler and everything is there. Personally, I appreciate the look of fully welded out aluminum intercooler piping. It's just an aesthetics thing for me. Silicone actually has better thermal properties, so like Heat soak and stuff like that is less prevalent on a silicone system than it would be on an aluminum system just because aluminum will retain that heat or silicone just it, the thermal properties of silicone don't really allow it to retain heat like aluminum or steel or anything like that. It is also a little more flexible because it's all silicone so you can bend things to fit. So I understand from a manufacturing standpoint it is much nicer to make silicone piping than to jig up something with aluminum. But again, personal preference. My vote for intercooler piping goes to Kraken, and it's just for aesthetics. I like the aluminum look. I think it looks cooler. So, turbo options. Fly Miata is kind of limited. I know on their site you can get the 2560R, and it will fit with this manifold setup, and it's like sold with the manifold setup. You could also run a 2554, and you can also run a 2860. Um, my buddy Brian has one on his drift car, and it's on a Fly Miata turbo manifold. And I believe everything bolts up the same. Kraken, on the other hand, has a lot of options in the sense of you can use a 2554, 2560 from Garrett. You can use a Borg Warner EFR 6258 or a 6758. I'm not sure if I'm getting the last two numbers right there. And you can use something like the Garrett G25 550 or any other Garrett G25 frame turbo. And obviously, if you can use the 2560 like you can here, you can use the 2860 on this. So, 
There's a couple more options here, so if you want to turn the boost up or if you want to go with kind of like a newer gen turbo like the EFR or the Garrett G25, you have that flexibility on here. Um, I'm actually going to be building an engine for a buddy, Corey, and we're going to run a G25 550 on his. My buddy Jonathan from JPT Performance is also running a G25 550. And the nice thing is you can get pre-built downpipes from Kraken that fit all those options. So we're here, it has to be this Garrett style housing. There you can kind of mix and match. So for turbo options, again, another vote in my opinion for Kraken. Uh, this is more than aesthetics. This is kind of a functionality upgrade for me. So for turbo selection, Kraken takes the win. For intercooler piping, aesthetically, Kraken takes the win. And functionally, Fly Me Out takes the win. So. I'd say we're at one and a half and half a point right now. Uh, but again, this is very much my opinion. Gonna interrupt a little bit. As I go through this, I currently do not know who's gonna win this back and forth. So we're gonna keep going and you're probably gonna be as surprised as I am. Although I have a feeling what's gonna happen, but we'll get to that. So the next piece, I had mentioned that both of these kits are AC and power steering compatible. Uh, those of you who are a little bit keen, you'll notice that this is pointing down and this is pointing up. That's because Fly Miata's intercooler piping, because it is silicone, can be like adjusted pretty easily to fit in that really tight gap in the engine bay between the frame rail and like your water neck, your like this coolant port down here, your AC system, your power steering, and you can kind of finagle it through there and make it fit. You could also do it with aluminum. Like, if I had a car in front of me, I could do it, I could make it fit, not a big deal. To jig something up like that is very difficult because it's very precise. So, what Kraken does is they actually send it up 90 forward and your intercooler piping kind of runs forward and down. So, while it is aluminum, it is a little less appealing, in my opinion, aesthetically, to have the intercooler piping just kind of jut out the front of the engine bay like that. Uh, if I can find a picture, I'll put it up. If not, just kind of picture, you know, a silicone 90 comes out and down to go in front of the sway bar, behind the radiator and that little gap. And then the intake sides are gonna be the same where they come up and they silicone 90 into both of these. Just this would be full silicone, this would be aluminum to a silicone 90. Kind of an aesthetics point, but for the AC kits, I think Fly Miata has a nicer aesthetic. It's just more hidden, like I love good intercooler piping, like a, a nice clean intercooler piping job. I think if this was like a welded 90 and you could like snake it down and make it look clean, maybe this would get my vote. But the silicone 90 is not as appealing in my opinion. So if you're going to run AC and that's something you care about, take that into consideration a little bit. Uh, I know if this was my car, I would be making custom intercooler piping and I would be pointing this thing straight down. Just personal preference again. So if we're going to go intercooler piping routing, we're going to go a point to fly a Miata. Just because the AC system, it takes the cake for me in that opinion. So we are now at one and a half and one and a half. So it's a pretty good tie. This next one is going to expand a little bit beyond the, you know, immediate turbo kit, but it's going to be extended offerings. So Fly Miata is a very concise package. It's, you kind of go in one spot and you can pick everything you need as long as it is engine bay and forward. Kraken on the other hand, like I was saying earlier, you can get a full three inch turbo back exhaust. And I don't know if you've shopped for three inch turbo back exhausts. ISR is probably your like main option that comes up to everybody's mind. It's loud, it's obnoxious, it's a lot. Other than that, besides like a custom unit and like, forgive me if there's a really good kit out there that I just am not aware of, there's not that many good options. So for Kraken to offer a full three inch V-band, which I love V-bands, solution from turbo all the way back is mind-blowing to me i unless somebody wants something special i always recommend just to buy the bolt up option it's just way better uh and the fitment on it is incredible so the nice thing here is you get a full package you don't have to hope that your downpipe fits your turbo fits your cat fits your whatever and the kraken kits you can actually get with a catalytic converter so this one has the kit that came with this engine build is catted Cats help quiet these cars down. They are still four cylinders, so they're not going to sound great. Uh, it helps with that stench. Doesn't smell like you're driving a boat. And 
if you get a new good cat, like a high flow cat, it's really not going to affect your performance that much. So the fact that they offer an entire solution with resonator, muffler, you can get single exit, dual exit, this is a dual exit right here. There's a lot of options you can get that just bolt up to your kit and that is superior for me. I love that. I know Fly Miata does sell a 2.25 inch diameter exhaust that is good for naturally aspirated or a stage one turbo kit, which I think this might be. It's gonna be restrictive if you try to push for 300 horsepower. Two and a quarter inch might be, you know, you might have some back pressure issues. So I prefer three inch for turbo builds if you can handle the noise. And the Kraken kit is actually very refined. It's, it's actually so quiet that I have had people ask me to make muffler deletes, which is why this muffler is here because I'm going to jig it up to make some muffler deletes, both for dual and single exit if you're interested. But it's a very quiet kit, it's very streetable, uh, you could cruise it on the long roads. So along with that, you can bundle together injectors with the Kraken kit. I don't think this is like a huge win just because they, I have heard, have had some issues with the reliability of injectors. I try to run like FICs or ID1000s, which are not an option. The option is there if you want like a full plug and play kit, so that's very nice. So, for expandability, just right out the gate, I think Kraken takes the win on that one. Fly Miata has some offerings, but it's just not the same. Kind of got to piecemeal it a little bit. So, two and a half points to Kraken, one and a half points to Fly Miata. Next one I'm going to get into, which isn't a big deal because they both need it, is going to be Fitment. So, obviously, they fit on the blocks, that's apparent. Uh, but chassis fitment is always the big question. So it's been known to me that forever for Fly Miata, you have to trim that area between the shock mount. So where the you know where the shock mount and the engine bay is to where the engine bay is, there's a little lip. You gotta open that up. I'll put a picture up here. So you have to remove that section just to clearance this. And not a big deal, but like some people don't like cutting their engine bay. So like when I do it, I have paint matched paint to that cover it all up. Kraken is the same. I've installed one Kraken kit in a buddy's car, shout out Joe, and we had to, we thought we had room, and we had to kind of clearance that open a little bit. The low mount kit, which we're not going to cover in this one, you do not have to do that. So Kraken's low mount turbo kit, you don't have to clearance, uh, but that's a whole other ballpark of things that we're not going to get into. So for the top mount kits, or side mount kits, whatever you want to call these, both kits have to clearance the frame. Other than that, Fitment is great on both. There's no like, you're not rubbing on anything on the back. There's plenty of room for brake lines and things like that. You'll see I have turbo blankets on just for extra heat protection, but that makes fitment a little harder, but I'm just gonna open up that entire channel so it's not a big deal. Intercooler fitment is great on both. The I haven't installed the intercooler on the Kraken kit, but I've seen it and it fits nice. The Fly Miata one is a very simple bolt together solution with some hangers and it's got adjustability for fitting your intercooler piping, so all of that fits super nice. So, we're gonna call it a tie for fitment because both of them have to cut, but otherwise both of them fit great. So, no points to either, two and a half, one and a half. One thing I forgot to mention, heater core pipes, you have to bend them on both of them. So, no matter which kit you have, you gotta bend the heater core pipe out of the way of the downpipe. So, just kinda, you're fitting something that wasn't supposed to be there in that space, so now you gotta make some adjustments. So the next one is going to be a little bit controversial and probably doesn't matter to most of you. And that's going to be emissions. So our cars are getting old enough, at least in like New York State, where if it's 25 years or older, you don't have to plug emissions in and it's just a safety inspection. But if you're somewhere where emissions are important or you get tested or you have an NB that's like an 05 and you need to pass emissions for another nine years or something like that, this will matter to you. Being a kit that has been developed in the U.S., and with all the EPA crackdowns, the stage one kit from Fly Miata is carb legal. You could do this to your car, 50 state carb legal, you could turbo your car in California and pass emissions. That's gonna be huge for people who that applies to. I know I have a customer who wants to turbo his NC and he's waiting on the Fly Miata kit because it's gonna be carb legal and we can pass inspection with it. So huge win if you are concerned about something like that because it bolts up to the stock exhaust system and I'm not entirely sure how they do like ECU management for things like that because it has to be stock ECU, maybe it's a fuel card. But regardless, you can run a Fly Miata Stage 1 Turbo Kit 
and make it carb legal and pass inspection. So if you just want like 160 horsepower, street of a little car, Fly Me Out is going to have your answer. Kraken, as it is developed out of country for us Americans, it's not going to be carb legal. Uh, it doesn't bolt to the stock exhaust. There is not a fuel cart option, although you could probably copy it over. But it's not carb legal. It doesn't have that carb legal stamp of approval. You could not pass emissions inspection on this kit in the United States if they're looking for something that's carb legal. So this is going to be one point Fly Miata. I'll put a little asterisk next to it because it doesn't apply to everybody. So two and a half, two and a half. The kits are pretty even. I think if you talk to anybody who's experienced both, they're gonna agree with me. This kit's been around forever. It's tried and true, they've worked out the kinks. I bolted up with no surprises, it works great. This kit is, it's been around for a few years, five, maybe five years now or something like that. I could be totally wrong on that front, it could have been around for a lot longer. But this kit is also great. Bolts up, no surprises, nothing like that, and it just works. So for takeaways, I guess, so if you care about intercooler piping, aesthetics, then maybe the aluminum one is your option, or if you like silicone, then this one's your option. If you care about good exhaust options, then hands down I say the Kraken kit. If you care about good turbo options, Kraken kit. If you care about passing emissions, which is huge for a lot of you, fly me out of kit, no question, because it's just, it's the only kit that makes it possible. There are other kits on the market, I know people make one-off turbo manifolds like uh, Defensive Octopus, Derek Seekins, and a bunch of other people make custom stuff too. I'm only comparing these two because these two are pretty much the standard options that people pick off the internet nowadays. So if you're looking to make more power, this is probably not the video for you. If you're looking to make three to 400 horsepower, depending on the turbo, these turbo kits get my vote hands down. You can't make a bad decision with either one. Both are fantastic. And through my weird rating system, both of them rated the same. But if you want my personal opinion, I think the Kraken Manifold looks a little better, and I love the three inch V-band downpipe and exhaust options. So this one does get my vote. I also like that I can put a G25 550 on it. This one, 99.99% as good, and will do everything you would want if you want to make that 300 horsepower power level. So. There's a lot of jibber-jabbering again, but uh, if you're still here, you must enjoy it. Again, this video was not sponsored by either company. I think both turbo kits are great, so if you're watching this from Fly Miata, I mean no disrespect. If you're watching this from Kraken, any of the downsides, I don't mean any disrespect either. I just think each kit is better at what it does in its own ways. So, that being said, this video might not have answered your question, but it possibly broke it down for you a little bit so you could make your own decisions. If you have any questions, please do reach out to me. I am happy to help when I have a chance, and I do try to answer every DM and comment that I get, so don't hesitate to reach out. That's why I'm here, it's my job now. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Stick around, stay tuned. We're gonna be putting this in a car, and I'm gonna be doing an entire video on how to turbo reliably your car. So, that'll be coming up shortly, hopefully, and I will see you on the next one. I'm not going to go like black out the camera because you're too far away.